In today's episode, Notting Hill Carnival closes a whopping 312 roads. I drive over a flyover made of Lego. And the Hammersmith bridge closure pushes the price right up. Hey, good morning you crazy cats. It's Monday the 26th of August. Where did the summer go? And it's a bank holiday. More specifically, it's bank holiday Monday and that means tariff three, ka -ching, and it's Notting Hill Carnival. A little bit about that later. Anyway, I've been away for a bit. I went to Cornwall to visit some relatives down in Port Isaac. That's where I grew up, a beautiful part of the world. It's famous for Doc Martin, the television series, and the Fisherman's Friends movie, and choral singers. And then after that, I was lucky enough to go to Switzerland, to a wonderful place called Lauterbrunnen, where I did lots of walking and was packed full of tourists because it's become a bit of a social media sensation. Right, the taxi's just over there. And good news, whilst I was away, the taxi went in for overhaul and I've got a brand new plate, which keeps me on the road to 2025. Okay, let's just pop this stuff in and check out the back. Ooh, there seems to be a stray leaf in there and I think I'm gonna give the floor a going over. Let's jump in to the hot seat and see what this Bank Holiday Monday has in store for us. Like I said, Tariff 3. So there we have it, Tariff 3 Bank Holiday Monday, which is always good news for a taxi driver. Let's get the payment systems working. Monday, the 26th of August, like I said, Bank Holiday Monday and Notting Hill Carnival. Well, here's a little bit about the Notting Hill Carnival I prepared earlier. Run VT Dave. Notting Hill Carnival is a community-led event that began in the 1960s and is firmly rooted in London's Caribbean culture. It's a cultural icon with up to 2 billion visitors and 40,000 volunteers. It's Europe's biggest carnival and typically takes place on the last weekend of August, including the Summer Bank Holiday Monday. Steel pan music, huge music systems, floats, dancers and colourful costumes are all part of the two-day celebration, not to mention an abundance of pop-up Caribbean food trucks. The whole event takes place in West London, W10, in Notting Hill, Labour Grove, Westbourne Park and Kensal Road and gobbles up a whopping 312 road closures over the 48 hours. So there you have it, a little bit about Notting Hill Carnival. So we're just going to head in west up towards Holland Park Avenue, down the Ansbridge Road, but coffee first, the normal routine, and see what happens from there. Oh, and um, if you didn't know, Tariff 3 is the highest tariff that the meter can go up to. It's normally the nighttime tariff that's um, enforced between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. in the morning and at other Christmas and bank holidays. So yes, it's more expensive to jump into a cab on a bank holiday Monday. People get paid double time to work bank holiday Mondays and taxi drivers get paid a little bit more also to work on bank holiday Mondays. And before I knew it, I was at Holland Park Roundabout and heading towards the Kensington Hilton. Already at 10 o'clock, the revelers are out. Okay, back to an old friend, the Kensington Hilton. This taxi's pulling off, which means I'm on point straight away. Now the Kensington Hilton during Notting Hill Carnival weekend is absolutely packed full of people going to the carnival and who are involved in the carnival. So if you sit here you'll just end up seeing people coming out in wonderful Caribbean dancing costumes. And Hi. Hi, can we go to Westfield Mall? So my first job of the day has turned out to be the shortest job of the day, probably of the week, probably of the month. So this is basically the other side of the Holland Park roundabout. I leave by left Holland Park Avenue, get to the lights. This is practically in real time, by the way. Comply Holland Park roundabout. The lady in the back had a boot on her ankle, so she couldn't walk. So a job is a job and you've got to take them if your lights on and you're on the rank outside the hotel. Now just for anyone 
who's learning to be a London taxi driver, we can use the bus lane entrance into Westfield here. So we get our right turn on the red lights, but it takes ages before it turns green. So let's speed that bit up. Take the right turn on the green light, head through bus country here. You can do that if you're a black taxi and set down on the lay-by just to the left of me here. Ha have a good day, enjoy the carnival. Oh, okay. We're not yeah. going. Oh, you're not going, are you not? No, I oh, really? Okay, well... The only one's not going. Okay, have a nice quiet one then, yeah. <laughs> enjoy London. Thank you. Right. Wow. <laughs> First job. Without doubt, the shortest job of the day. Uh, Kensington Hilton to Westfield. From there, I just headed straight back towards the Kensington Hilton again, hoping that I could get on the rank. I'm just pulling in to the Kensington Hilton again, and a lady on the bus stop next to the Kensington Hilton has waved me down. And there's a massive fight over there. Oh dear. Hi. Hi. Um, careful. I'm hoping you can help me. Okay, so this lady wanted me to take her back to Marble Arch to pick up the Oxford Tube as apparently the Oxford Tube was not stopping here. So for this job, go through the Hotel Forecourt and take a right onto Holland Park Avenue. Um, keep an eye out for the revellers on the left and right as the Notting Hill Carnival is heating up slowly. Now we're going to get to Notting Hill very soon and there are traffic restrictions in force as you will notice. These are crowd control restrictions, so everything's down to one lane. You can see the barriers on the left and the right. Break through Notting Hill onto the Bayswater Road. We're out of carnival country and things are opening up and getting a lot smoother. Past Lancaster Gate on the left and head past the station and the Royal Lancaster Hotel on the left. Head forward on Bayswater Road, jump into that bus lane on the left to save us lots of time if I can and I didn't there was hardly any traffic I didn't need to Ford Marble Arch right park lane I need a right onto Grosvenor Gate then right park lane and set down on left for the Oxford Tube brilliant take care lovely to meet you lovely to meet you too and uh, wish you all the best have a nice yeah summer. have a wonderful bank holiday weekend and thank you so much no problem at all job number two complete on tariff three that was from the Kensington Hotel to Marble Arch. She wanted to come back to get the Oxford Tube because it wasn't stopping there on Holland Park Avenue. I didn't pick her up from the hotel. I picked her up from the bus stop right next to the hotel. So job number two done. So from there I headed down looking for my third job, Park Lane, Hyde Park Corner and then back to another old friend, the Peninsula Hotel. Okay. I have just been summoned in by the door concierge at the Peninsula Hotel. What will it be? It's just like opening up a little present at Christmas. What's inside? What's inside the Peninsula Hotel? Uh, so this was a job in. to Notting Hill. However, once I told them the carnival was on, this family decided they did not want to go to Notting Hill and changed their destination oh, Hill, to yeah. Tower Hill. So leave my hotel forecourt right, Grosvenor Crescent, comply High Park Corner. Uh, the park's closed for changing of the guard, so we're going down Piccadilly. We've got absolutely no choice. So head down Piccadilly, traffic's still okay this time of day. I'm looking for that right turn onto St. James Street. Head down south on St. James Street, past Marlborough Gate on the right, forward Pall Mall. Head forward Pall Mall, enjoying the very light traffic today. Then comply Trafalgar Square, Gasworks on Coxburg Street, no access down there. Comply Trafalgar Square, leave by Northumberland Avenue. And then forward right down to the river, left onto Victoria Embankment. Follow the right curve of Victoria Embankment all the way round to Blackfriars until you get into Blackfriars Underpass. This really is a great run today, absolutely no traffic at all. Forward Upper Thames Street, no traffic here, incredible. Forward Lower Thames Street and just keep heading east. I think I did this whole job in exactly 24 minutes. Don't go left, Byward Street. Bear right lower Thames Street and then a little U-turn at the end to set down on left. Brilliant, thanks very much. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you. Well, job number three done. Now, originally that job um, 
was going to Notting Hill. They wanted to go to Notting Hill. And I said, oh, are you going to the carnival? And the mother of the family said, no, we're not going to the carnival. Uh, we don't want to go to uh, Notting Hill then. Um, so they changed their minds and they have ended up coming to Tower Hill. And I said, why not go to Borough Market as well? Uh, there's plenty going on around here. So job number three complete. So I headed back west, Upper Thames Street, Lower Thames Street, Victoria Embankment, up towards Trafalgar Square, St. James Street, and then popped into the Ritz Hotel. I was feeling rather posh. And gentlemen, if you're thinking of coming here for afternoon tea, don't forget your jacket, because you won't be allowed in without one. Dishoom Kingley Street, okay, no problem. Oh, Dishoom Indian Restaurant, what a fantastic curry they do, I do recommend it. Okay, do a right onto Piccadilly from the Ritz Hotel, forward Piccadilly, left Sackville Street, get to the top, right Vigo Street, wait at the lights to cross Regent Street, then forward Glasshouse Street, left into Lower John Street, forward Golden Square, forward Upper John Street, left Peak Street, set down on right. The Ritz Hotel to Dishoom, Kingley Street, you've got to drop that off on Beak Street because you can't enter Kingley Street either way. So we're getting there, Tower of Three still, everything's mounting up quickly but the jobs are coming slowly. Okay from here I just ambled around West London Kings Road, up Gloucester Road, then Kensington High Street. It was really quiet until... Okay finally we are in. Hi there. Hi darling, can you take me to um, Fairfield Road? Leave on left Kensington High Street, left right Lane, right Cheniston Gardens, left Marlowe's Road, right Lexham Gardens, get to the end and turn left onto the Ailes Court Road, right onto the Airport Road, West Cromwell Road, over the flyover, get to the lights and then I'm waiting for a left turn onto North End Road. There's always a bit of traffic here, right onto Castletown Road, left Verica Road and set down on left. Great. Oh, job number five done. Now, there was a long gap between job number four and job number five. I think it was like an hour and 20 minutes. Now, we don't normally get that amount of waiting time between two jobs, but it's a bank holiday. We've got to bear that in mind. Tariff three is still job number five complete. Kensington High Street to Verica Road off the North End Road. Let's hunt down job number six. Think I'll head west towards Hammersmith. And that's exactly what I did, up through Barons Court, left onto the West Cornwall Road, towards Hammersmith Gyratory. Now because it's so quiet today, there are not a lot of jobs available, I'm sure the Hammersmith rank will be backed up. That normally holds four cabs, and if someone's over ranking, five. Let's have a look. Okay, I think we'll just make our way around. All right. So um, the cab on point is pulling off and I'm second from point. So that's good. You're right. Hi there, you're right. Yeah. Um, so we need to go into the carnival area. But oh my gosh. <laughs> Quick explanation of what's going on here. These people live in Warmer Road, which is right in the middle of Carnival Country. All the roads have been blocked off by the police around the Carnival. However, residents obviously can still get to their abode if they show proof of residency. So it's just a case of letting the police know that they are actual residents of that district. And away we go. Okay, leave by left Hammersmith Road and forward. Stay in that left lane and just keep going forward on Hammersmith Road, past Brook Green, past the new Olympia where there's lots of wonderfully swanky, expensive flats, over Addison Bridge. We'll come to in just a second and then we'll go past the Kensington Olympia, left Holland Road. Traffic's okay on Holland Road. Heading north on Holland Road towards Holland Park Roundabout weather's looking fantastic for the carnival at the moment get to Holland Park roundabout in just a second and we will leave it by Holland Park Avenue and then it's a left into Royal Crescent where we will meet the police so you'll see ahead of me the police are checking that everyone coming into carnival country are all residents and have a purpose for being there so we get through the police cordon and left to St Anne's Villas Looking for a right up here onto Stonely Place. 
Stonely Place it is, right Serdar Road, left Merry Place, right to the end, and then a left onto Warmer Road, set down on right. Thanks very much, have a great day. Cheers, guys. Oh. Okay, job number six done. That was Hammersmith Rank to Warmer Road actually right in the heart of the Notting Hill Carnival District. However, these were residents and they're allowed to get back to their houses and are allowed entry through the cordons. And just a few words to the police and we were let through and job is done. Update now, I've had an incoming WhatsApp message from Charlie, this special man who gets me work uh, from the airport and bespoke private work. And I'm off to Terminal 5 now for a pickup. And you guys are coming with me, so the M4 it is. As a London cab driver, I've got three ways of making money. One, street work, and I guess that includes hotels and ranks and stuff like that. And then there's the taxi app, an app that's a bespoke app for London black taxis. And then there's private work. And I get all my private work from a man called Charlie. I never really see him. I never really get to meet him but every now and then I get a message from him with a mission and I go out and complete that mission because Charlie's missions are very good jobs indeed. I don't think I've actually picked up a job with you guys um, from the airport going into town it's always been the other way around you can get a good look at the northern side of the airport here, the perimeter road, and this will neatly take me around to Terminal 5, where I will liaise with the passenger on level five and get back into town. Leave by left Wellington Road, bear right Wayfarer Road, right and left Wellen Road, come by Terminal 5 roundabout, leave by terminal approach, follow this approach all the way around to the left until we get onto the London Orbital Motorway, the M25. Stay in lane three here, bear right round towards the M4 feeder and then up onto the M4 we are. Right, bank holiday Monday. Driving into London on the M4, what could go wrong? Well, plenty of people trying to get back to London to go to work on Tuesday and the Reading Festival has just finished. So we just keep going until all of a sudden we hit plenty of traffic trying to get into London. Initially the traffic here was very heavy and was moving very slowly. However, all of a sudden it just seemed to pick up and we were rolling into West London before we knew it. So up onto the Chiswick flyover and that heads us right down towards the Hogarth roundabout. So the flyover gets down to two lanes here. Great views of London coming in from the west here. And then down the other side of the flyover onto the Great West Road. Once we're on the Great West Road, or as some people call it, Hogarth Lane. We hit the lights at Sutton Court Road past the Porsche garage on the left and forward towards the Hogarth roundabout where the Fuller's Brewery is and a flyover there which I will be talking about a little later. It's very weird in its construction. I don't know if you've been over it but hang on I'll get to that in about 10 minutes. Okay comply Hogarth roundabout leave by Great West Road. Down here we're going to do a left onto Rivercourt Road that's going to give us a right onto King Street. Keep going forward King Street looking for a left turn here on Studland Street from Studland Street it's a left lentil road right Darling Road forward and bare left Paddenswick Road get to the end comply seven stars corner why is it called that someone right in let me know forward Askew Road all the way north up to the Uxbridge Road Junction wait for the lights to turn green forward Old Oak Road looking for a right turn here into Steventon Road right Sedgeville Road set down on left Ooh. Terminal 5 to W12 Sedgeford Road, which is right next to Shepherd's Bush, which is right next to Notting Hill. And for me, I thought the best bet was to head south back to Hammersmith because that rank was still moving and I was getting some decent jobs out of it. One cab in front shouldn't be too long. Hi there. Hey, I want to go to uh, this 
uh, where's that? Uh, 2325 New End London NW3. Yeah. Yep. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, this was a destination change job. Ford and Bear left Hammersmith Road, left Rowan Road, left Brook Green. This is where the destination changed. Instead of going right, I was going to do a left here onto Shepherd's Bush Road because now I'm going to Lonsdale Road SW13. So comply, Hammersmith Gyratory, head south and then round door right onto Queen Caroline Street. Bear left Hammersmith Bridge approach, follow the road round to the right until we jump up onto the Great West Road. Get to the end, traffic's really good, comply Hogarth roundabout uh, past the brewery on the left and leave by Burlington Lane. Keep going, bear left Burlington Lane towards Chiswick Bridge. We'll go on the Great Chertsey Road, Chiswick Bridge and then over the Chiswick Bridge gets us to Clifford Avenue. Stay in the left lane here, need a left turn. And that left turn is going to get us onto Lower Richmond Road, past the old brewery on the left. I think they did Budweiser there. Comply roundabout, leave by Mortlake High Street. Keep going on Mortlake High Street, comply roundabout and leave by the terrace, the river running on our left here. Very beautiful. Comply roundabout, set down on right. Now that was a strange one. I picked up these two ladies from Hammersmith Rank and they wanted initially to go to New End, NW3. So I thought that's a pretty good job. Anyway, cut through Brook Green, Shepherd's Bush Road, and then they said, can we change our destination? No problem, I said. They then showed me uh, a postcode that was Barnes. It was Lonsdale Road in Barnes, SW13, in the complete opposite direction. Anyway, I took them there. It was actually the Bull's Head Pub on Lonsdale Road. They jumped out. And the thing is, Hammersmith Bridge is still closed. So uh, a fare that would normally cost around nine to 11 pounds ended up coming to 32 pounds 80 with the diversion over the Chiswick Bridge. Absolute nightmare, but what can I do? They haven't fixed Hammersmith Bridge. I have to use the diversion and every customer has to pay more. So Hammersmith or whoever is in charge of that bridge, please, for God's sake, get it fixed. Right. Let's head back to Hammersmith and on the way back, go over London's weirdest bridge. So you have to stay in the right lane here. Weak bridge are the signs. Um, and then you have to go through the uh, width restrictor because if you're heavier than a large chicken, then the bridge will collapse under your weight. So through the width restrictor and up we go onto the Lego bridge and over we go and it's a weird feeling it's got a kind of roller coaster feel about it this thing you've got to watch your line you don't want to nab or buy any of those curbs that seem very close to your wheel line and then you start descending and then you're back out onto the great west road with the fuller's brewery on your right yeah, if anyone knows any history about this bridge, let me know. I heard it was a temporary structure, but has ended up being here for decades. After surviving the comedy flyover, I headed towards Hammersmith. I didn't rank up, just decided to keep going towards Kensington High Street. And before I knew it, this happened. Mayfair, yeah, no problem. Okay. And this was another destination change. So this originally was going to South Moulton Street and then change of mind, Connaught Hotel. So forward Kensington High Street, you have to be adaptable as a London cab driver and people change their minds. So keep going forward Kensington High Street, past the Kensington Gardens Hotel on the left, forward Kensington Road, lots of people about in the park today forward Kensington Gore, past the Albert Hall on the right, and then carry on forward Kensington Road, heading down towards Knightsbridge here with the Bulgari Hotel on the right. So forward Kensington Road, very little traffic about. Forward Knightsbridge, past the Mandarin Oriental on the left. Stay in the left lane here. Get up to High Park Corner. Wait for the light to turn green, comply, hide, park, corner, leave by park lane, jump in that bus lane on the left and head north as fast as I can. Start drifting over to the right lane, 
because I need that right turn into Brook Gate. Once I do that right turn into Brook Gate, it's forward up a Brook Street, past Grosvenor Square on the right where the new hotel is being built, forward onto Brook Street. This is where the destination change came, right Davis Street, you see. I didn't get to South Moulton Street, forward Davis Street, do a right onto Mount Street, set down on left. Right, that's your lot for the day. Didn't end up at South Moulton Street. Destination changed at the last minute to the Connaught Hotel. Nine jobs today, six off ranks, three off the street and one private booking off Mr. Charlie. Thank you very much for that job. It's much appreciated. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave any comments down below, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, see you back here.